The 1999 Tokimura nuclear accident in Japan was the country's worst civilian nuclear disaster before Fukushima. It happened not in a giant power plant, but in a small fuel processing facility in Tokimura, about 130 kilometers northeast of Tokyo. On September 30th, 1999, three workers were preparing fuel for a research reactor. To speed up the job, they bypassed safety protocols and poured uranium solution into a tank using steel buckets by hand, a shortcut they had reportedly used before. What they didn't realize was that by adding too much enriched uranium in the wrong container, they had created the conditions for a nuclear criticality accident, a self-sustaining chain reaction, the very process that powers nuclear reactors. Suddenly, a bright blue flash of Cherenkov radiation filled the room. Radiation alarms went off. The workers had unknowingly triggered a mini, uncontrolled reactor. The three men received massive radiation doses. Two of them, Hisashi Aoki and Masato Shinohara, were exposed to lethal levels. Aoki receiving the highest dose ever recorded in a human. Hisashi Aoki's case became infamous. He suffered severe radiation burns, organ failure, and chromosome damage despite doctors' desperate attempts to save him, including experimental treatments and even a stem cell transplant. His body slowly broke down at the cellular level. After 83 agonizing days, he died. Shinohara battled radiation sickness for months, but also did not survive. Authorities evacuated around 300,000 people within a 10-kilometer radius and ordered thousands to stay indoors. While the wider public wasn't harmed, the psychological impact was immense. It was a shocking reminder that human error and cost-cutting shortcuts could unleash a disaster just as terrifying as a reactor meltdown. The Tokimura accident led to sweeping reforms in Japan's nuclear industry, tightening training, safety standards, and emergency response protocols. But it also sparked public debate about Japan's reliance on nuclear technology in such a densely populated country. Unlike Chernobyl or Fukushima, Tokimura didn't level cities or contaminate vast regions. But it remains a haunting case of how a simple mistake in handling uranium turned a quiet laboratory into the site of one of the most painful human tragedies in nuclear history.